Howdy, AP Freakout. It's Ms. Kosh. I um, have already done a video on 3-1, but um, now Mr. Passwater's notes have become available, so I thought I would give you um, another approach to it or talk through his examples. Um, so thank you to Mr. Passwater for doing all his hard work. Um, okay, so on this one, we're talking about a periodic relationship. Um, a periodic relationship is what happens when you have a repeating pattern. So something happens and it happens and then it happens and happens and happens and it keeps happening. Um, I mean, most of the periodic functions we look at, it goes to infinity in, in both directions. Um, and the period is, he defines it as the, the length of the x values that it takes for the function to complete one cycle. I like to say it as how long does it take it to do everything it's going to do. So with this little graph, here's the first example. It's got a period of 4. So it's starting here at negative 1, and then it goes to 3. So this period, um, it takes it 4 x values, whatever that unit, um, whatever that measure of time is. It's not really in time, but that's kind of what we can think of it as. Um, and so that's 4, and then 4 more. and then and So it's going to repeat. Um, this is going to happen every 4 units. So here's at 3, here's at 7. It's going to do it again, 1, 2, 3, 4, at 11. It's going to do it again, 1, 2, 3, 4, at 15. Um, and so then what does it do here? This value, um, this, it's kind of funny because this is not at all how I did it when I practiced these notes just a second ago when I made my answer key. But we could take this point. This is at 1, and then it happens at 5, and then it happens at um, 4 more than 5 is 9. And so we've got this point here at 9, and then this one. Well, it's staying there for one more unit. Then, okay, after 9, add 4, you're at 13. That's here, and then it's one more. So basically, two more cycles or two more periods of this graph look something like that, assuming that I know how to draw a straight line, which is questionable. Okay, um, super. Then the next thing he talks about, um, here's a piece of the graph. What is the um, least possible value for the period? Well, I noticed that we're you know, here at 7 for 2 units, then we have kind of a slope of, what is that, negative 2, then we have a slope of positive 1, then we have 2 units here, and then a slope of negative 2 and positive. So it appears to me that this piece is repeated here and this piece is repeated here. So it looks like we could have this is one period, and then this is, um, so the distance from here to here is one period, from here to here is another period, um, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So from negative 2 to positive 3, if I can read. So I would say the least possible value for the period of g is 5. Okay, so then they want us to say, well, um, how do we evaluate these other things without drawing out all the way out to, to where x is equal to 72? So one way to think about this is um, we can, I keep doing this different ways. Every time I do a different problem, I, I, I do it a different way. This would be 4 plus 2 times 5. And so what this is saying is whatever happened at 4, it's going to happen again at, because that period is 5, whatever happens at 4, which, you know what, let me get a new color. What's happening at 4? Do, 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 we're right here. Well, that's going to happen again 5 units later at 9. Sure enough, it does. And then it'll happen again 5 more units later, which is at 14. And so what's happening at G of 14 is the same thing that's happening um, 14 minus 5 minus 5. It ha we have to do this, or even stopping here at 9 is great. Um, and so what's that value? That value was, it had a y value of 7. Okay, the next one at 72, well, we can think of this, if I use this similar idea, this is g of, um, well, 70 is divisible by 5. What is that? 14? Okay, so it's 2 plus 14 times 5, and there's really no reason I'm writing the this part last. I, I don't know. It's just what I did when I first. There's no reason you can't just say this is g of um, 5 times 14 plus 2. That is also correct. It's that period is going to happen 14 times, and then whatever had been at 0, we, well, we don't want what had been at 0. We want what had been at 2. So at 2, do, 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 I have an, a y value of 6. Okay, um, at negative 17, well, so it, just because these were going in the positive direction and we're picking up and going it that way, doesn't mean I can't go in, back in the negative direction. What we often will do is if I want to refer to this one right here, I can say that this is, this is um, okay, 4 plus or minus 
5K. Actually, that's not what I say at all. I don't know why I wrote that. Um, I would say 4 plus 5K, where K is an element of the integers, is how we write that out. Um, and what this is allowing us to do is it's allowing us to plug in any particular value. This um, will have a Y value of 7 at 4 when K equals 0. Um, or you can think of it this way, k equals, and then here is 4 plus 5k. Um, at, at, when k is 0, we are at 4. When k is 1, we're at 9. When k is 2, we're at 13. When k is um, 3, we're at, what is that, 15, 19. Um, why is that different? 4 plus, so I, did I forget how to add? I said four plus five. Oh, <laughs> I sure did forget how to add. You guys, I should do this earlier in the day, and I can't. Okay. Um, two, that's 10, that's 14. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then three, 15 plus four. Oh, it really was, it really was 19. Are we adding, we're adding five, we're adding five, we're adding five. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Your patience is greatly appreciated. But I can also, here's the point, I can also plug in negative values. And so I can have a negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. I can have at negative 2, negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. And so I can, what's happening, I can go this way or I can turn around and go in the negative direction. That was, that was ridiculous. Okay. So with this one, I can say that this is g of, um, well, we have a period of 5. So 5 times, let's say, negative 4 would give me negative 20, and then I need to add 3. So this value right here is going to be equivalent to whatever happened at 3. What happened at 3 do, 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 it was equal to 7. OK. Uh, six minutes in. Let me see what's next. I'll, I'll do the next page in the next video. So come back and watch the next video for the continuation.